did anybody else get a little confused when they were going back and forth between islands and, you know, suddenly, I think it was Stan and Shannon that were at the island where others had been a little while ago. At, at first, I thought, no, it's not the same island. They were, they couldn't have, no, it's another island. It just looks like it for now. And then I realized, oh, it's the same island. This is another one of those recent games where at the very end, you find out that the person who's been helping you all along was evil. Isn't it getting a little old? Is it just me? I'm not going to mention any others because I don't want to spoil them, but this is not the first time I've seen this in a game that's come out in, you know, the last three or four years. Also, when the gun was drawn on, I think it was Stan, am I the only one who thought, um, just point a gun back at you, both of you have one. I don't know. I like that Stan and Shannon were the two survivors, and I've heard that Josh might be in the third one. Please, I would like to see him again. He was probably my favorite of the first game, and I suppose you could argue that he might not have died, even though we saw that tape. I gotta say, in that final boss battle against Kenny, yet again, in the stadium, did anybody else find the filters on that weird... Anyway, not my point. When I found out that you had to pick a lock between, you know, temporarily disabling Kenny and him waking up again, I mean, the first time... Gah! Irritating. But I gotta admit, that was really exciting, really intense, and... It was so satisfying once you, you know, completed the game. And the ending of, you know, the duo walking towards the giant growing smoke with their guns ready was, you know, quite good. I would very much like to see more of these games. Now, I just have one last question, and this one's pretty important. Does anyone have any idea who these are supposed to... Who is that? Is that one of the Freedmans? I don't, I don't remember anything from the games that looks like that. Is he coming out of a chair, like a high school classroom chair? Is that it? What? And whose hand is this? There's no one with a bony hand like that in the second game, not an enemy. Anyway, those were my thoughts on the Obscure games. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. You can also exert some control over where you point the flashlight, which is pretty cool.